Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on the TSX. As you guys already know, I have moved my transmission from the top of my TSX at home. And this is just a video to update you guys on what's going on. Now, moving the transmission from the top isn't the traditional way to do a transmission swap. It's usually done from the bottom by removing the subframe first and dropping out the transmission. I did opt to go this way because afterwards, I would not require an alignment or any shop work in order to get the car back into running order. Now, with that said, thanks to Brian from APH for teaching me on how to rebuild a K-series transmission. Uh, the knowledge he gave me over a couple hours will help me in the future and will help me overall with this car if I ever run back into any transmission issues or if I decide to rebuild a transmission of my own. Now for my TSX Club members, Changing your TSX clutch is possible without removing the transmission from the car but just making a minor adjustment to your clutch alignment tool. Now once everything was back in, uh, I did have a small leak on a coolant hose which probably cracked as I pulled the transmission out. Once I got that figured out, all I had left to do was fill the transmission fluid. Now for the fluid, I'll be using Motul's gear competition and after this, we can head to the track. So here we are back at Toronto Motorsports Park. Of course, you guys should know by now that I do most of my testing, if not all of my testing at Cayuga. I would consider this my home track because not only do I do all of my testing here, it is also the track that I do most of my competitive events at. Now today's test run is not to set any type of personal best lap or go out there and try to set any type of fast laps. I just want to go through the gearbox to make sure that everything is in working order and that the car is ready before I drive 6 hours to Calabogie and have a minor issue frustrate my day. Now through my outlap, through all the slow corners, everything felt great. Uh, the transmission does feel good, which is surprising because I did it myself and I wasn't sure if I could trust my own work, especially with something this deep. But once I got to the main straight and I went on full throttle, I realized it was having some sort of fuel cut and the engine light was blinking at me. Now I wasn't sure what was wrong at this point, but I obviously know that I missed something. Uh, my first thought was that it would be map sensor or one of the clips on the injectors. So I pulled off and I checked every sensor, went back on, same thing happened. Pulled back off again, double checked the sensors, and as I was checking the fuel rail sensors, I realized that I did not tighten the bolt for the ground on the injector's harness. Once I got that tightened down, I decided to go back out, and I'm pretty much hoping that at this point that I've got it all figured out. As you can see with the difference of time of day, it did take me a few sessions to find what was wrong and it did take me a while. I wasn't sure if it was an, a limp mode or something wrong with the computer. But I think I've got it all figured out now. <laughs> 